Hello everyone, my name is Guilherme Targino Valente. I'm the head of Systems Biology Genomics Lab. And um, I decided to make this video to talk about two very important, um, let's say, tools for systems biology. That's the BioGrid and Cytoscape. Uh, despite both, um, this, this is one database and here's a tool. Despite both, um, let to see, source of information and analysis are pretty cool. To communicate between them are not so straightforward. Despite BioGrid says that it's straightforward, indeed, if you read the manual, it's not straightforward. And the uh, Cytoscape is also not so intuitive, mainly if you're starting to use this app, this software, right? And then I figure out a way that is easy to work with both data sets together from my initial very huge data set. So uh, let's start. First of all, uh, let's to download um, part of the BioGrid database. It goes to the download tab and then you choose the release. In this case, let's do to, to get the current release and then we will download a uh, data set with uh, uh, validated, I mean, curated physical interaction. That's this, tab two, BioGrid, MV, physical, blah, 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 tab two. Okay, there are other formats, but let's to wait, wait, uh, work with the tab two. You can also download BioOrganism, but let's to download the huge one and after to learn how to filter this using the Sidescape, right? Um, just click here, the download will start, like like here, right? But take a while, then I already downloaded it. It's here in my, my uh, laptop. And now we open the Cytoscape to start to work with this data, right? Okay. Uh, to open this huge data set in Cytoscape, you must go to File, uh, Import, Network from File, right? Don't try to upload as table, it won't work. Network from File, and then you choose the tab, and now there is a trick. Right, you have this kind of screen here, and then we must set some stuff here. Uh, we see many informations that were in that file, but the most important for us to upload this network is this official official symbol interactor A. You click on it and choose this as source node, right? Official sim interaction B, you click here and choose as a target node. Uh, of course, a protein interaction network, uh, say source and target is not absolutely corrected because um, protein interaction network are, is an is a undirected graph. Okay, there are other information you must put. Uh, experiment, uh, experimental system type is, oh, let's see, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we put we type here and put a uh, interaction type is physical, right? And that's it. And just click. Call. Okay, uh, the Cytoscape will, will ask you if you want to create uh, the network fill. You click cancel, no, because if you type okay, it will take a huge time to create a network that's not useful for, for us now. Okay, cancel. All right, and now we have the network here, uploaded, right? It has a total of 25 nodes. 
Here's the table of Cytoscape node table. We have the, the genes, the, the nodes in the network, right? There is no additional information here, but the most important table now for us is edge table. We click on add the edge table. We have all informations from that we downloaded from Cytoscape, right? The first thing we will do now is to select only the network related to a specific species. And why? Because we can see, let me see, let me find, uh, mm, I, oh, here, yeah. Organism interactor A. Interactor A means one node. Interactor B means the other node that is bind to the first one, right? And here are, this line is one interaction. It means, and here we can see that the node A of this line, of this edge, is from species 9606 and the node B also came from 9606. However, uh, you can see that sometimes, um, if you scroll down, you see many species, right? Like here is a different species, right? Uh, this number, it's a taxon ID number for a given species and uh, 9606 is human homo sapiens and uh, but if you don't know that the taxon id of the species that you want to want to work you only type uh, taxon id and cbi right and then you open here put the name of your species the species that you are interested in, in my case let me put homo sapiens Homo sapiens, and here, okay, Homo sapiens, click again, and you have the taxon ID here, right? As I can, you can see, as I said, 9606, right? But you can see that sometimes by the nature of experiments, you can have um, interactor B from human and interactor A from another species, for example. And then we need to filter only the edges that are related to the proteins of a single species, in this case, human. How to do this? As I said, go to style or to filter, sorry, or here, and choose column filter, uh, and then organize interactor A, let's put the B as well, organism interactor B, and now we set the species 9606, and then here 9606, here 9606, here 9606. Now it's important to note something. You must put here is, is, and here, and. So the edges will be selected only if the interactor A is from human and if interactor B come from human as well. After this, you only click apply. Okay. We had at the end a total of 189,705 uh, interactions, right, edges. And how to get this as a new network? Uh, you tap, tap in the middle of the table, right? Com uh, control A to select all. It can take a while now. Don't be stressed, right? That's it and go here to the file, new network, from selected node, selected edges. That's it. It is creating a new network. You can cancel the, the network view creation as well, right? Okay. And how do I, how uh, can I know this is a new network. You click here in network 
and you can see the old one, the raw, and now the new. The new has this amount of edges and 10,000 nodes, right? Okay, let's just put another filter in this network here. Uh, now I will select uh, edges concerning one specific experiment, right? And where is the information concerning experiments? Is here in the edge table of network uh, reduce it of human network, right? And here in this column, experimental system. There is no way to recognize how many different words I have in this column. But I figured out how to do this in a easy way. You click in the first line, scroll down, click in the last line, the classical control C, open if you have an Excel file, control V, right? And then you select the, 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 the data, click, right, uh, right click now and go to the filter, advanced filter, click OK, and copy to another location to be easier to identify. Cop to, um, let's put this place here and click here, check this box, unique records only, right? And that's it. You have all experiments uh, in this set. Uh, of course, it is not perfect. You see that recon reconstituted complex was duplicated, but okay, it, instead of 10,000 lines, you have now like few, right? Uh, if you have um, um, programming skills, you can do it in a fancier way and also, in my opinion, the best way. Let's put here nanodata.txt. Don't paste because it will take a long time. Okay, and now you can paste. Oh, there's something. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, and then you go you do data ta, 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 um, and sort ta, 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 unique. Yeah, that's it. All uh, experiments you can have. It's like here. It's the same, right? Uh, okay. Let's choose, for example, uh, this one. Uh, but first of all, uh, I have to tell you that some of these experiments, um, I have some concerns. If you want to, to know details about it, you can download in the BioGrid a spreadsheet like this. I also have the spreadsheet I can send to you. Just write me an email that explain um, how each kind of experiments is performed, right? Uh, let you to get this one here, the fract. Oh, let me see. Like, yeah, f um, yeah, fract. I have to get this just to. Oh, maybe yeah. Let's have this fract, right? Um, we choose the network filter. Ad, go to filter, and then we well, we don't need this anymore. Uh, just click here, column filter. Choose column now, experimental system, and then we put FRET. But let's you put another one, uh, FRET and two hybrid, right? Two hybrid, let's say, is two hybrid, let's say. Uh, you click here again, and uh, yeah, go down. Where's this? Experiment. Edge. Okay, experimental system uh, to hybrid and now choose here. Don't put is and not contains is right. In this case, contains would be would work fine, but if you have words similar, it can like make a mess in your results. And instead of to put and put or right and click on apply, and that's it. 
okay right and then now we have our data set much smaller and you can see here only two kinds of data two hybrid and fret right and again type here Control a to select all file you network um, from select node select edges and then here you go okay go here and that's it here your is your network but smaller 6,000 almost 7,000 uh, proteins and 30 a little bit more than 30,000 edges uh, apply another layout to be fancier or easier to analyze uh, in my case I like this one Let's save it and now you have your network and you can go ahead doing more uh, specific analysis okay like many things you can do right that's it thank you very much i took a while to solve this kind of filtering uh, but yeah nice piece of cake bye bye